hello friends welcome to the session on phd coursework in this session we'll be discussing about how to create charts in microsoft excel spreadsheet while doing the research work frequently we need to collect a lot of amount of data and such data can be manipulated or analyzed by making the use of the microsoft excel application software so it is possible that whenever the data goes on changing and even if the data is changed in the microsoft excel there is a provision that automatically the related values of the data will also go on changing so the researcher need not to worry that if certain data elements are changed then what will be the impact of it on other data elements also when we tabulate the data by using microsoft excel then frequently we need to add or prepare charts or graphs by using such data so charts or graph will visually represent the data and frequently a researcher has to represent the data in the visual form instead of only numbers so in this session we will see how this data can be graphically represented in the form of charts or in the form of graphs so for this session i will be sharing with you my computer screen and now we will see how this chart can be prepared in the microsoft excel so friends you know that you are viewing this session on my youtube channel and you can subscribe to the channel so that you can watch other videos on the various topics of the subjects of electronics and computer science so microsoft excel can display the data graphically in the form of a chart so for example i shown in this window suppose on x axis we want to plot year on the y axis we want to plot some amount and suppose we want to show the data elements graphically by lines then such charts can be prepared by making the use of the microsoft excel excel display the values from the worksheet and this display can be achieved in the form of bars or lines or columns or pie slices or there are various shapes that are available in the microsoft excel and you can make the use of these shapes to represent the data so when you create the chart the values from the worksheet are automatically represented in the chart so presenting the data in the chart will make it easier to read and also it becomes an interesting data so that it can be easily interpreted so charts can also help to evaluate your data and it is possible that you can make the comparisons between the data of the different values by making the use of the charts so we can create a simple worksheet suppose we have been given this type of the data now this data you need to enter into you into your excel worksheet so initially you have to start with your excel worksheet and then enter in each cell the data that is being shown over here and now once you want to create the chart then you have to select the cell the range of the data so the range of the data can be in this case from a5 so from a5 to e5 from a1 to e5 can be the range of the data then you have to select the insert tab from the microsoft excel in the charts group and then you have to click on the chart button and then you have to choose the chart so there are different sub types of the charts will appear and then you have to select which one is appropriate for you and then you can view all the chart types by clicking on the dialog box on the charts group 
so there are different charts will be shown so you have to insert the chart window insert chart window will appear with all the chart types and then you have to select the all chart tabs and then you have to click on the first column button in the window and then you have to click on the ok button so whatever the chart is being selected by you will appear in the spreadsheet so this exercise can be easily performed so what i will do is that we will open a excel worksheet and we will open the worksheet and then we will enter the different values that are being required to enter into the excel worksheet so i will slightly rearrange this so in the column b1 i will indicate i will enter fy2009 then financial year 2010 then financial year 2011 and then financial year 2012 so in the a in the cell a2 i will enter equipment i will enter the text equipment and here i will enter the value 8500 so if i want to make this cell slightly bigger then it is possible that you can make it slightly bigger also so whenever you want to make the cell slightly bigger then it is possible that by making the use of the mouse cursor you can increase the size of the cell then 6750 then 7100 and then 9200 then i will indicate in the a3 furniture in the first cell i will enter 1200 then 1400 and then 800 and then 1500 then a4 will consist of office supplies so here if it is slightly larger than the cell value then it is possible that i can change the width of the cell so i will adjust this width of the cell so that the word will be accommodated then 2450 then 2390 then 2400 and then 2275 and our last element is travel which is having the values 12500 then 11750 then 8000 and then 5500 so all the values that have been entered now now i will rearrange this window and now it is possible that you can click on the insert button and in the insert button you will find that there are various charts available so if you are happy with these different charts 
then you can select the chart whatever is being required before that what i will do is that i will select this range of cells and then if i click on the insert column chart then you will find that this chart will appear and now it is possible that i can reposition this chart anywhere in my document so on the x axis you will find that we have financial year on the y axis we have the range of the values from 0 to 14000 and whatever the numbers are there all these numbers are being displayed by using the bar graph or bar chart if you want to change the chart type then it is possible that you can change it so for that again i will select and then i will click on the charts so there are different charts available so if i want to select a line graph then such a line graph can also be created by making the use of the chart type so there are different formats of the charts being provided in the microsoft excel so you can select whatever is suitable to you and you can insert anywhere in the document also it is possible that you can copy this chart and you can insert it into your word document as well so this chart can be moved from microsoft excel to other documents as well so thank you friends for viewing the session hopefully you have understood how to insert chart or how to prepare a chart by using a microsoft excel thank you all for viewing the session